friends here it's me ashwarya and welcome back to my youtube channel guys today i am back with a new video on the topic study guys as you know study is the most important thing in our life it's in a student's life guys today i'll be sharing with you few important and the most effective study tips so number one guys this thing i was really very very like just i want to tell you that stop procrastination this thing is really very bad for us for each and every one not only for students for each and every one for each and every person cause this okay let me tell you the meaning of this procrastination see procrastination means putting off things for later like if you don't want to study right now we'll think okay we'll do it tomorrow then tomorrow we'll think that let's do it day after tomorrow and blah 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 the tomorrow never comes as you all know so this thing is very important guys please follow it no procrastination you can even write down it on a page in a bold letters and stick it on the wall that really no procrastination and no procrastination you need to follow it this is very very important guys okay so now let's move to the new next point point number 2 that setting time table means this is very very important cause you don't think some people used to uh, think that making time table or doing a uh, you know making time table just takes time and it is just a wastage of time we can make a time table on the mind it's okay you can make in mind but still writing down each and everything make you learn the time table also and also help you to get the best out of the time now let's uh, see how to make the time table first of all if you have for an example if you have left 28 days okay you have you are left with 28 days and i'm not talking about any school exam or anything like in a, you know even a vacation if you have we are left with 28 days just an example guys so and you have to cover 18 or 19 chapters first of all how will you make this this is quite interesting to divide this into 28 days just uh, let's see it when 18 chapters in 28 days how you do this this includes science maths mental ability only these three and these all three subjects are really very interesting and also a bit tough so now what you'll see just note down all the syllabus first of all by you not don't see it okay you just write down because when you write anything it just goes into your conscious mind okay it helps you now just write each and everything and after this just tick on tick mark just do a tick mark on the very very tough like those you don't like sub just like you don't like biology i don't like so just put tick on the paper or on the things uh, on the subjects or anything uh like uh topics or anything you need to just put a tick mark and then just write down those topics on the particular date like just divide it into 20 days don't don't write it by that same day you will mark them as day 1 day 2 day 3 okay now day 1 you have put nutrition and plants for an example if you don't like biology and then second nutrition in animals then third like that 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 okay blah 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 you'll just write it now only and only the tough chapters which you don't like or the tough subjects okay now but don't make them each and everything on the first day only or on one day like you'll complete two three chapters in one day no it's not possible guys one more thing like the first point i told you then this here is also the second most effective point most important point that guys if in a day if you read more things it doesn't mean you get no knowledge of more things like i if you want to say that Yes, if you just tell your parents that today I have completed five chapters in science or five chapters in maths, it doesn't mean that maths is a different thing. Just leave it like anything. If you have read the whole newspaper, it doesn't mean that, cause reading the whole newspaper and what you got in mind, what just now recall that each and everything that what you have learned through that, you haven't learned just two three points, right? so you have learned only 2 3 points 
in the whole newspaper. Because your aim was to just complete this. Your aim was not to just learn these, right? So this is very important, guys. Effective reading. This point is very, very important that if you are reading a paragraph, like you just got to know, for an example, this very simple sentence that a computer is an electronic machine. We read this. What we got? You have to read that so that you get it into your mind. You have to read in such a way. So you have to teach yourself only that. Read it again. Once again like computer. Yes. Is an electronic device. Now you got it. Now you'll never forget it. Okay. And guys let me also tell you one thing. Uh, subconscious mind and about conscious and subconscious mind. Okay. See this is very important. I hope most of you know about subconscious mind. What is subconscious mind? This is very important for the people who used to study. For the students side. Also for uh, the elder people who used to study nowadays also. See. This. Like I am telling you anything. You are watching my video. And you are listening to it. Okay. This is. We are talking with the use of our conscious mind. Mind. Present mind. Okay. Present mind. But. If I. If you will repeat thinking this thing. That what I saw in this today's video what i thought what i what i got it then again and again if you do anything it goes into a subconscious mind subconscious mind is present at the back of your head okay and the thing which goes into your subconscious mind you'll never forget it like you can in three four years and many other things but if you'll keep revising it you'll never forget it because See, when you learn the question answers, no, when you learn the long, long answers, it doesn't feed in this hair. No, it just goes hair. So that you do, so that whenever you are in use of that, you get it back from subconscious mind to conscious mind and then you write the answer in the question, in the answer paper or anything. Okay. Understood now, guys? Okay, just leave it. This conscious, subconscious mind, this is very important, but I'll talk about it in my next video which is going to be come very soon so now let's see uh what we are talking about we were talking about uh the distribution of time now see if you have wrote all the tough subjects or tough topics here okay now but guys one more thing it's very important to just keep in mind uh, while the time we are making a timetable is give a one or two days break like 28 days are there. Just divide it by 7, 4. So after each and every 7 days, you'll have to give a 1 day break. See guys, this is very important. You don't have to put the, those days with that date. I've told it earlier also. But once again, you have to write it day 1, day 2, day 3. Okay. After the 7th day, 8th day will be your break. Because guys, you know. We used to make timetable. Like uh, the total we have finished up uh, is three time uh, three subjects in one day. Only one one chapter or half chapter in a day. So uh, in the first day you learn chapter uh, chapter one of bio bio and chapter two of chemistry and the third is of maths. But maths chapter you you haven't got time and you have completed only the half. So this half you don't need to just go. Complete it on the next day, day 2. If you'll do that, then you'll not be able to complete the day, day seconds work. So you have limited time and you have to complete that in the limited time. So guys, this is very important. So just keep in mind that you don't have to do the leftover thing on the next day. Okay? The leftover thing you will do of the whole this week, this seven days work, leftover work. But it doesn't mean that you will just keep on procrastination. So here also you have to follow that you don't have to do the procrastination. You have to complete it. You because you have because if you will not do today, you have you you will do it in the next day on the holiday. The way you have got the break on the eighth day, you have to do now. No one can do it for yourself. So this is very important guys. <laughs> Just keep in mind one thing. No procrastination. 
no uh, just repeating the subjects on the second day because this will help make your second we uh, second day's work left huh now so you will just complete day one मैं आपने जैसे लोके लेट मीट नॉक इन हिंदी सिर्फ अपने डे वन में जो आपने चैप्टर वन टू और थ्री अलग अलग टॉपिक्स के जो हैं आई मीन अलग अलग सब्जेक्ट्स के जो हैं वो आपने कवर किए उसके बाद जो लाइक like, आपने पूरा साइंस पढ़ा लाइक like, बायो पढ़ा केमिस्ट्री पढ़ा मैथ्स का आपका आधा चैप्टर रह गया तो वो आप उसको वहीं पर लीव करो नाउ यू विल डू दैट इन द एर्थ डे ओके जस्ट लिव इट फिर आप सेकेंड डे पे आए सेकेंड डे में आपका जो टाइम टेबल है आपने उसको इफेक्ट उसको पूरा अच्छे से इफेक्टिव लर्न किया इफेक्टिवली लर्न किया आपने ये नहीं कि आपने सिर्फ अपना कोर्स कंप्लीट किया आपको ये भी देखना है कि आपके माइंड uh, में कुछ गया कि नहीं ओके नाउ द थर्ड थिंग इज नाउ आपने ऐसा पूरा किया या आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑल्सो द डिस्ट्रीब्यूटी आपने तो टफ टफ सब्जेक्ट कर लिए नाउ अब आपको देखना है कि आपके लिए चलो आपने बायो आपको नहीं पसंद बायो आपने कर लिया टफ है आपके लिए लाइक फॉर मी इट्स आई एम डोंट लाइक बायो फॉर यू इट्स योर चॉइस सम पीपल डोंट लाइक मैथ्स एंड केमिस्ट्री एंड एनी अदर सब्जेक्ट्स व्हाट यू वांट टू लर्न ओके यू हैव डन नाउ गाइज आई बी मेकिंग अ सेपरेट वीडियो फॉर द टाइम टेबल ऑफ टेस्ट हेयर सर्च फॉर योर नॉलेज लाइक ना सम पीपल यूज टू जस्ट गिव गिव ओलम्पियाड और in many other competitions uh in schools also and other places also you we used to get it okay now i'll be making a video for that separately so here we have done we have learned this how to make time table okay uh, so we will do one thing that uh, let's take another top subject okay what is that Let's uh, take maths there. Now we'll put the maths with the bio. No, it's wrong. Cause you can't complete two tough subjects. It's wrong. Like day one, if you have put plant nutrition in plants, and day two, if you have put nutrition in animals, then you'll put maths in day three. Okay? Not in day one and day two. Cause you can't complete it, guys. Just writing it down doesn't mean that. you are doing it okay like some people used to do i'll complete 10 chapters in one day but you can't we are human beings not computers we need to do this okay so you'll put the maths in the third day chapter 1 so what on the first day you will study only bio only chapter 1 no suppose you uh, your chemistry is favorite it's very easy for you so you will put the easiest chapter of chemistry on the first day with bio because one tough and one easy subject will make you to learn in a better way okay so we'll put it here like if we uh, kept like physical and chemical properties there i'm just telling the uh, the names of the subjects or the uh, topics of my only it's uh, i'm just giving you example uh, of my uh, topics and my chapters okay so now next uh, we have done with uh, now day 1 cause we got two now day 2 same way you just do this we have only chemistry bio physics and maths now physics if physics is either boring or not interesting for you just put it in a middle like it's middle it's like okay one guys i'm just telling giving my example but just keep in mind na okay how can i tell you about it so just take it and put it on the second okay day second with it bio one tough and one okay subject so here this way you can make your file this way you can make your time table okay guys now next thing i uh, understood now you understood with the time table one more thing guys as i told you then the eighth day on the left over day you have to revise you have to learn or if it are uh, not left with any of the single chapter any of the single thing then you revise the whole chapter you can take a break you can just leave each and everything and you can just carry out with whatever you want to do except studying okay uh any homework and blah 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 so, but 
if you are left with anything you will complete it on the eighth day as safe your next break will be on uh, the after seven days so as uh, i have told you you will follow this now guys one more thing guys nowadays we used to even i used to just study from the youtube we get very good explanations from youtube like as the online classes are going on we don't get enough time to ask each and every doubt from teachers and even she don't he or she don't get the time to tell you each and everything in a such a good way like you get it you get the explanation in school so here we have youtube uh, I used to just uh, go through the Vedantu and Unacademy, don't memorize. And there are many other Delta Step and blah, blah, blah. Many channels you'll find out. Even you all know, I know. So, um, when you go through it, guys, after watching video. See, why we see video? Because when we used to listen through videos, it just comes and fit into your mind. You know, then you don't have to just revise it, keep on revising it. But still, if you've watched the whole video, then just close your eyes or uh, pause the video. Think what you got from the whole video. What is still in your mind? So this is more important. Now, uh, what you'll do after the completion of the whole video, you'll just take a pencil and a pen. Or you can make a mind map also. See, uh, there's are two choices. If you, if you make notes or if you do... If you uh, like uh, make a mind map, see like uh, you got okay this 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 is went to these three parts and blah blah blah. If you don't know what is a mind map, you can go through a Google and check it. Cause I'll if I'll be telling you each and everything. The video is gonna be so long, and even you will feel boring to see that. So just check on it. And yes, making notes is also very important, guys. Because uh, during the uh, uh, exams, uh, if on the or before one day exam of exam, we will not have enough time to watch the whole videos again. If you have, that's good. But if you don't have, you can just take uh, out the notes and just read it once again. You'll get get back each and everything in your mind. Once again means revising. Okay, so this is very important, guys. But Guys, always keep in mind that if you are making timetable, if you are making notes, this should be decorative. We used to like, uh, some people used to just do work in their copy and very untidy, very untidy work. But some used to decorate and do calligraphy in their headings and blah, blah, blah. So guys, this is also very important. If you decorate your notes, when you study You'll find it more easy and more like you'll uh, study it joyfully. That yes, wow, yes, you'll get each and everything into your mind. But if like no, if you do, if you know, uh, if you know, uh, I mean, some books are there where there are no pictures. It seems to be so boring books. Even in maths, black and white book, you'll learn. You'll feel good. No, you'll not feel good. But uh, in Okay, uh, like in spite of that, if you put in front of your English literature book, then see so many pictures and uh, like photos and are made there, right? Are printed there. So this keeps you to learn it more effectively. See, one more thing guys, why we used to watch videos is because we have picture or photo, so that we can see it in our mind clearly like it goes in our mind. Okay? फीड हो जाते हैं हमारे माइंड में वो बट ऐसा अगर हम पढ़ा हुआ जो लिखा होता है हम अगर उसको रीड करते हैं वो हमारे लिए क्वाइट डिफिकल्ट होता है और एक बार में माइंड में नहीं जाता एंड दिस इज गाइस वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू हैव टू फॉलो ओके टेकिंग नोट्स एंड माइंड मैप वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट माइंड मैप इज नथिंग बट just you have to just revise it uh, like revise the whole uh, video what you saw the whole chapter what you just read in your mind by making and yes guys okay by making the connections guys connections are very important making connections will help you to learn it forever <laughs> like nowadays now we used to learn it by ki isko hum kisi se jod lete hain like any word we used to just like if we have to learn tablet word so you'll just think for an example like tablet 
normal tablet means dawai also medicine and uh, tablet means uh, that electronic device also so you'll think that more more uh, using more tablet that device will lead us to uh, have a medicine tablet so this can help you to, to learn the device names device name tablet okay i'm just a simple example for you okay now uh, this is done guys i i gave you few study tips also and i don't know if i'll be left with anything please do not forget to check the description okay i i'll be giving each and everything once again in the description like the main main topics please go through it and i don't know if i forget anything just now i'll write that only okay and there you will get the the meaning of uh, mind maps also okay thank you for watching guys and also don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel please comment and share my channel or like me ke and sabse pehle kar do and also guys my next video will be coming on the subconscious and conscious mind about subliminals and i hope you know about subliminals if not please go through it on the google and also don't forget to press on the bell icon after clicking on the subscription button to get the notification of my next video of the subliminals very soon okay bye thank you guys